All right, it's May 26th, 2013, and I read on spaceweather.com yesterday that the geomagnetic field of the Earth itself is reverberating from a CME strike on the 24th of May. So they said on spaceweather.com that the reverberation uh, is taking place within the field on the 24th and the 25th, into the 25th. Now it's the 26th, so there's still a residue effect of that excess energy, geomagnetic energy, and that energy hangs around for a few days. And it affects people in a number of ways. And I'm just going to cover the basic ways that these CMEs, these solar flares, increased solar activity, how it can affect human beings, the human body, men and women. And I believe that these changes affect both men and women. Although Burl Payne's done a lot of research, uh, burlbooks.com, to get some of his information. There are many that have come before me that have been looking at how the sun affects human beings. And he looks at something that he calls MMS, male macho syndrome, uh, in relation to how all these wars uh, tend to kick off around the time of solar activity or the ascent or descent of the solar peak. So I want to help people understand why they're feeling what they're feeling. When there are solar flares, there are complications and arguments between human beings because what needs to rise to the surface comes to the surface. And it's like the powers of oppression come down against the powers of freedom. Um, the, the freedom energy, the protest energy, the, you know, we are here to be free. Get your fucking uh, mitts off of me. And it can take place between protesters and government. It can take place between a relationship, between a man and a woman. Either way, it could be the man saying to the woman, you know, I don't want you to control me. I am not your property. I'm going to live my life. Or it could be the other way, you know, where the woman's like, you know, you can't dominate me, boyfriend. You can't dominate me, husband. I'm a free human being. I have feelings. And... Issues with mothers come up. It's like my mom is on my mind and unresolved stuff whenever we have these solar flares. And around the time of early April, um, you know, I had a unfortunate conversation with my mother and it ended with, okay, we're not going to talk to each other anymore. Okay, we're not going to You know, you know, okay, fine. Okay, it's going to go down just like uh, I did with my father. All right, well, it's out of my hands. And it's like people don't, people rarely, that's why I'm making these videos. I'm trying to help raise awareness. People rarely go, well, why did I get so upset on that day? And if they would just realize that on certain days where we have this increase in energy in the air, shit happens. And I don't just mean uh, issues relating to communication between human beings. I had uh, a very difficult radio show last night. Because, you know, the signal kept going in and out, in and out. You know, at one point I took my laptop, right, out of my car where I do the show from 50 miles away at the neighbor's house. And I actually took it outside. Then I sat down on the ground and I'm interviewing Curtis Davis, a.k.a. the Illuminated One. Check out his stuff, blogtalkradio.com slash illuminated one dash one. Not number one, but spelled out O-N-E. Great material. But, yeah, there's like fire ants all attacking me and coming up my legs. And I'm like, yeah, Curtis, that's that's real interesting. Ah, ah, you know, hitting the mute button. Um, and my signal was going in and out, in and out. And um, I was also trying to be really focused, uh, but I felt myself slipping over a few words and going, where am I going next with this? Just I could feel, you know, something different, things shifting in the brain. Now, let me tell you what's going on in the brain. When the Earth's magnetic field is reverberating from these solar flares, we have a high concentration of magnetite in the pineal gland. So when we have shifts up there, we have shifts down here. The purpose of making this video is to encourage people, and I'll go into much more detail at a future point in time, but by knowing how these Intense changes impact our body, also our sexuality. I think more people are doing it. 
when we have these solar flares. So if you want to have good luck on a uh, blind date or a first date, you want to have a happy ending. <laughs> you can time your dates around solar flares. I know from past experience, I can actually see results. But men and women are responding to this energy in a wide amount of ways. And so by knowing how these changes affect us, you can make it a positive experience. Otherwise, if you're unaware of how you're feeling agitated and angry and you're just, you want to resist the pressure. You want to resist the control or what you may perceive to be control or those controlling you. And you have revolutions in relationships, in government, uh, in your own mind, an internal revolution. Okay, I'm not, I'm not okay with this way of thinking, with the way that I was, with the way that things are. I need to do something new. There needs to be a revolution from within. And people are going through these things. They're having these shifts in their thinking, but they may not be aware. Many are not aware that these are in line with the changes taking place with the sun. Another thing that I've noticed is migration patterns. People just pick up and go, ah, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. They don't know why they gotta go, but they gotta go. It could be like leaving a job or leaving a relationship or leaving something, leaving your land and going traveling, getting in the camper and just going, go, man, just go. Because like your chakras just activated. It's like, it's go time. It's go time. There ain't no time anymore to just sit around And what a day. What are we going to do tomorrow? Now, when you get that surge of energy, you know what you're doing tomorrow. You're doing something new. You don't know what it's going to be, but you're doing something new. Now, if you know these changes are taking place, and you know how to channel it and harness the power of the sun, then you can make something positive come about from it. I wasn't aware that there was a CME yesterday during the afternoon. I didn't know until the evening. But what took place during the afternoon? Um, I'm hanging out with a friend of mine called Miles that way. He's saying some things I don't like, okay, about Muslims and people over there coming over here and doing things over here. You know, there was an NPR story about how a Muslim beheaded someone in London, England, you know, and I'm, you know, basically, you know, hey, they promote these stories because the fear it generates. What about all the other rapes? What about all the military uh, murders of Afghanis and Iraqis? Why, why is NPR focusing on this one story and playing it as a loop over and over? It's to and get people to judge people that look different like me. And I'm trying to explain this to him, and he's just like, ah, and I'm just, oh, dude, you, you hurt my feelings, man. But you hurt your own feelings. Okay, you know what? I gotta go. You know, he's like, okay, we're not friends anymore. Hey, that's your projection. We don't have to end our friendship, but because he's used to um, having problems with other neighbors and things of that nature, he's found himself isolated, and I'm about the only person who comes over to hang out with them. But, you know, it's just like, you don't got to be negative, man. We don't have to make this worse than it is. But you're hurting my feelings. I got to go. It's better that I go instead of stay and continue the argument. And then I get online, check out the, the fucking major CME, fucking geomagnetic field reverberating. And I get online here. Oh, my God. F5 and tornado. Tornado in Oklahoma. 7.2 earthquake in the Fuji Islands. 5.7 earthquake in California. Felt as far away as Portland, Oregon. A uh, swarm of earthquakes in Arkansas, you know, and it's just like, wow, wow, look at all the earthquakes. Now, if earthquakes and solar flares are affected and we're biological human beings, how do you think that you're affected? Now, we are at different levels of sensitivity, and I think your, um, your astrological star sign can have something to do with it. And many other factors. I'm a Pisces. I'm abnormally empathetic. That's why I do what I do. That's why I'm passionate about things that other people are like, Alex, why do you care about that? Why are you being so negative? The conscious is shift its hair. Kumbaya, shake your booty. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. The conscious is shift its hair. And I'm just like, don't you feel the pain? Don't you see the suffering? Aren't you an empath like me or not empath like me? But for those that are in past, you got to keep yourself in check, my brother. You got to keep yourself in check, my sister. You know why? Because if you're not in check, you might drink and drug. 
you might partake in a particular substance to escape that feeling. Now, I don't drink very much out, out here. I don't really like alcohol to begin with. I don't think it really agrees with my dad's genetics. My dad's, uh, when my dad's passed on, um, you know, you look at the history of, of Afghanistan, there, there's there's limited documentation of a whole lot of, you know, let's party like it's 1999. Yay! You know, not a whole lot of evidence of that. Although the Persians did invent wine before the Islamic Empire. So just so you know, you Greeks and you Anglo-Saxons, you didn't create everything. Okay, just get over yourself. So the thing is, is that I, though, even feel even though I don't like to drink out here, and it doesn't really agree with my DNA. You know, a desire to drink and get a six-pack, usually microbrews, I stay away from the shit beer. Here's evidence to stay away from the shit beer. This crap's been sitting in this yurt for a week. Okay, I don't drink this stuff. People gave me th these beers. This is left over from drinks with Ryan from a couple weeks ago. Very cheap shit, and that's what it is. Shit. <laughs> but I will feel that. Oh, man, I got to feel these feelings. Ah, oh, ideas just got to come down. Just got to come down. Come down from fucking what? See, if we know that there's an excess of energy in our body, then we are responsible for grounding out that energy. I'll talk about grounding yourself in the last portion of uh, what may be a 30-minute video, because I don't think I'm going to get all this in 15. And there's so much to talk about here, but I look back on my life, right? Personal cycles of change within. And I could see times where the solar cycle was going up, and things were changing in my own life. I was moving from place to place to place. And I'm talking about from a really young age. The age of, uh, maybe I was this height. Maybe I was this height. I'm 13 years old. I'm sitting down, by the way. I'm sure you didn't know that. Uh, 13 years old. I'm moving from place to place to place. And it's, it's during the tail end of the solar cycle. And I'm also turning 12 uh, during uh, uh, 1992. Uh, that was solar cycle. 22, you know, and I'm, I'm learning about martial arts. Uh, my body wants to flip around nunchucks, you know, I'm learning how to kick above my head. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm going through puberty, but my body was also responding, I think at that time, to the energy coming in from the sun. Move forward six years, seven years to the age of 19, right? I'm fucking doing heroin. And I realized that in Portland, Oregon, there's like a record number of heroin overdoses. Now, I'm one of the miracles. I was able to get out of it. But a lot of young people that jumped straight into it, For I mean, don't you ever wonder, like, why? 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 Do we see cycles where people are just getting really high? High, high, high. Higher than the sky. All at once. Is everything a coincidence? In this physical reality of cause and effect, you know, we can see evidence that when this energy comes into the planet, it, it, re it, re it affects people in different ways. And many people, if they don't know what's going on, they can't handle the energy. They don't know how to ground out the energy. So they find a way to ground out the energy. And it comes from, you know, getting a bottle of Annie's, uh, you know, ginger, uh, you know, uh, dressing. And go, 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 you know, maybe doing a little main line of it. Whatever takes the shakes off. You know, and drug abuse is not funny, um, but let me tell you this, uh, substance abuse counselors, many of them don't know very much about reality, okay? Just because they may have used and they may have drugged and doped and pimped and fucking hooked, it, it doesn't mean that they really know why that they themselves, when they were in their, uh, when they were out and running around wild using not only drugs, but uh, using others, using themselves, destroying themselves. How many of those substance abuse counselors are intelligent enough with all their recovery books and everything they got from the university where they borrowed money from the, 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 uh, the government and got a student loan so they could become a drug counselor? And it's like, 
he never like questioned